Holy crap, guys. I just got my face threaded. I didn't get my whole face threaded. I just got my upper lip, my chin, neck, and my eyebrows. Wow. I mean, it was kind of painful a little bit on some parts. Like, definitely my eyes are very sensitive, so anything that's done around my eyes is crazy sensitive. But, um... Also, underneath my nose, oh, I feel like I'm here on my eyeball. That's cool. It looks really good and it feels really good. I mean, I'm like, that's awesome. Like, you know, we all have unwanted hair. And yes, of course, like, I would like laser hair removal eventually. But this is great for now. Um, it was $16 for my eyebrows, my mustache, my chin. It's like baby's bed smooth. Anyway, I'm on the way home. Oh, you can't turn here. I thought that was the turn to the street. Okay, well, yep, so I think my review, oh, and her name is Monica, and she's off of Cooper and Barden, so in Arlington. So if you guys are looking for somewhere to try, wow, she did a really good job. Oh, what is this? Oh, I had string on me. <gasps> weren't y'all gonna tell me that? Can't believe you weren't gonna tell me that. That's ridiculous. Anyway, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Definitely gonna have to do that. Uh, the lady that came in before me that was getting hers done, she said she hadn't been in like five weeks. So I'm like, well, that's pretty good. I like that. I'll probably, you know, I'm going to Spain this summer. I think I told you guys. June 26th is when I'm going to Spain. So I guess I'll get it done right before I go. But oh my goodness, it's awesome. My makeup's gonna go on smooth. I didn't get cheeks or um, forehead or anything because I didn't really, I didn't really have that much hair there and I just didn't want to <clears throat> start something that I didn't need. So I was just like, yeah, just, you know, chin, lower lip, upper lip, and eyebrows. So yeah, y'all go check her out. She's pretty cool. I gave her a good tip and she was like, oh, thank you. And I was like, you're welcome. <laughs> I was like, thank you. I need this bad. So, okay, guys, I'm going home. We're having, what are we having for dinner tonight? I'm getting tired of holding my arm because I went boxing again today. It was awesome. And uh, it's starting to sprinkle. That's wonderful. Wonderful. But, uh, yeah, I uh, went boxing today. Oh, I was talking about dinner. I'm all over the place, y'all. Dinner, we're having chicken, Brussels sprouts. I know, right? But I want some Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna try and grill them. And then corn, grilled corn, and a sweet potato, I think, is what I'm gonna have. Justin's probably gonna have a regular potato. Yeah! But yes, boxing was freaking awesome. I just feel like, I feel so good. Like, I feel like life's good right now. I got my new house. I got an awesome, like, membership to boxing. It's called Title Boxing, again, I told you guys. And I got my face threaded for the first time. What's up with that? That's pretty cool. So no more freaking out, you know, when people are looking at me and feeling like, you know, the light's hitting my face and people can see my peach fuzz. I've always had peach fuzz. And I think the older I get, I know I'm going to have more. Like, my grandparents have it. I think my mom has it. My mom wanted to get her face threaded. Actually, I feel kind of bad. We should have gone together. But I really, really needed my eyebrows done. They were so bad. And so I was there. So I was like, well, let me just take it all on. Sounds good to me. So, ah, cool. Okay, I'm gonna quit blabbing. I'm really annoying at it. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. Well, proof, proof positive here that Domo completely tipped over his toy box. Proof positive. Quit chewing on Mr. Cat. Now, Mama's gotta go lift this thing up. This better not be the new trend. Oh. Yeah, it was just like this, and Domo tipped it over. All your toys go back in the box. We should teach him to put his toys in the box. He thinks it's a good girl. Yeah, I saw that. 
If you guys haven't seen my Instagram picture of Domo sleeping with that cat in his mouth, go check it out. Domo. Be nice. Hey, what's my uh, my Twitter name? J Huber 18? I don't know. I don't have a Twitter. I mean, not Twitter. I mean, um, Instagram. Instagram? Yeah. I think it's J Huber 18 if y'all want to go check it out. We really love that hutch. Yeah, we really do. Makes it look really elegant, actually. Mm -hmm. It's a nice style hutch, and we didn't even have to pay for it, luckily. Hit me down. Thanks, Dad and Deanne. You're in the picture with it. I'm just videoing you just because I'm videoing you. Just because. So tonight, Justin, tell uh, everyone what we're having for dinner. Well, we are gonna have. Whales live in the ocean. Whales do live in the ocean. You are correct. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna have um, chicken that I marinated for a couple hours and uh, two different kinds of Lowry's uh, marinade. I did one in the um, chili and pepper or something like that. It's like a half chili and garlic and pepper and uh, olive oil. And then the other one I did was a Tuscan sun-dried tomato with olive, and, uh, olive oil and garlic. And then I did uh, Brussels sprouts. Or Jay, and a little adobo and a little butter and grill those. And then I also made some homemade elotes, which elotes is like a Mexican style roasted corn, which is a bomb. You never had it, go try it. It's really good. It was really simple. I made it the, the white boy way. Well, and the dairy free way. And the dairy free white boy way. I uh, Roasted the corn off in the husk, soaked it in water and seasoning, a little salt and a little adobo for a while. I put a little sugar in there to make sure the corn was nice and sweet, but actually it was sweet by itself. After I roasted it, I tried it and it was actually pretty sweet. So I, I couldn't really, quit eating it. Yeah, I didn't really need the sugar anyways, but I roasted that off and then I cut the stems off, shucked it, threw it back on the grill to char it a little bit more because I like mine a little bit more charred, like grilled, burnt flavor. Uh, charred for a little bit and then burnt. burnt and then took it all off the uh, cob put it in a bowl and then I made a dressing which is the elote dressing for it which consists of mayonnaise but we use dairy free mayonnaise which is veganaise veganaise yeah turns out really good it tastes just the same I can't tell the difference and I'm a critic when it comes to dairy free healthy eating but anyways so we use veganaise um, then I put a uh, it called for a whole lime, but I did half a lime first to taste it, and it actually tasted enough of half a lime, so I only did half a lime. Um, quite a bit of chili powder to taste. I did. It called for a half teaspoon, but I did a little bit more. I did a dash of cayenne. It didn't call for it, but I like a little spice in my life. And then uh, it also called for um, smoked paprika, which is one of my favorite ingredients. It elevates any dish. It makes it awesome. So I did some of that, and then I put a dash of uh, Marie Sharp's habanero hot sauce, gives it a nice tang, a little kick of heat on the back end, it tastes really good. Yeah, and I decided that it's a great dip. I think we should have it, like, actually, it'd be really good to me, like, I know you don't like celery, but it'd be good with celery, tomatoes, carrots, like, as a dip at a party, so you need to remember that recipe so we can do that. Cause we tried it with some tortilla chips and it was delicious. Yeah, really good. Yeah. I'm so tired. I told Justin, I was like, you need to speed up this process cause I'm ready for bed. Uh, this week has just kicked my butt and all this moving stuff and going to bed late. Hopefully we'll get the rest of the majority of whatever we need to get done this weekend. But guess what? It's Texas and it's gonna storm tonight. I just seen a pretty big. Texas is ridiculous. Or actually DF Dub is ridiculous. No, it's the whole state of Texas. Okay, Texas is ridiculous. Look, can you see that? Can you see that? That's the front wave that's Hold fixing on. to hit us. Yeah, that's the first of the weekend. It's uh, not. There it goes. There that's it the is. the first of the weekend that's going to hit us. When is it going to hit tonight? Probably, that looks like it's 9 o'clock. It looks like it's going to be here about 10, 10.30. Great, right when I'm falling asleep. It was, it was pretty cool the other night, though. It wasn't cool because it was bad weather and people... Oh, yeah, there. Justin and I. I should have vlogged, but yeah. 
I wanted to pull my well, car in the down, garage. Up and down, comfy and you know. Yeah, I wanted to pull my car in the garage, and Justin was like, "What about mine?" I was like, "Let's go make room." He's like, "It's no, not no, no, no." First, I said, "No, it'll be all right. Don't worry about it. It'll be all right." And then 15 minutes later, it sounded like it's getting worse. So Jay's like, "Justin, what about my car?" And I was like, "Fine, let's go pull it in the garage." So I pulled hers in the garage. All of a sudden, it started hailing. And I was like, wait a minute, what about my car? So then we moved everything. Well, I told him that his car would fit, and he was like, it's not going to fit. We have too much crap in here because we got to, because, you know, we're still moving. We have, a, a, like, some stuff we're giving away and trash and then also his garage stuff. And so he's like, it's not going to fit. I was like, it's going to fit. I was like, you just got to scoot everything up, like, stack it and everything. And sure enough, who was right? And then once everything was all said and done, I was all ramped up, so I said, screw it, give me a beer. But lo and behold, we couldn't get in the fridge in the garage where my beer was because of JD's vehicle. Yeah, but who ended up getting your beer? Yeah, but technically it would have been a lot easier if we would have just freaking opened the garage door, backed my car up a little bit so he could get his dang beer. But no! We opened it just ever so slightly. Justin got some kind of hook we're of something. That's right, beer. We're talking about beer. <laughs> beer, yeah. So I, uh, he had a hook of some sort. What the, what was that tool we used? Weenie roller. Weenie roller? Yeah. What the heck is a weenie roller? Weenie roller is like a four inch or six inch roller that you can use for touch up or in tight spaces. It's called a weenie roller. Oh. Weenie roller. <laughs> so, yes, I used that and then got it and, yeah, whatever. It was a process. I should have videoed it. It was kind of funny. I'm so tired. Just because all this moving is draining me and my 980 schedule. <sighs> I just wish I had off tomorrow. I just sleep just a little bit. That's okay. I'll just be ready to go to bed tonight. Won't you, Delmo? Won't you? Craxy, won't you? I really need to go put the towels. No, blankets in the dryer. Mm. Uh. How cute is this little picture right here? That's extremely cute. Y'all are just so cute. Oh, yep, and you both know what. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, well here's my dish. Yes, don't judge me, I got quite a bit of chicken because it's awesome. Here's my elotes, dairy free. Justin added cheese to his, I put chili powder. Two, oh, well okay, I layered it. I did corn. Then I did the sauce he made that we told you about earlier. Then a crushed, one crushed up chip with chili powder. Then one more layer of corn, sauce, crushed up chips, and then um, chili powder again. So that's my elotes, dairy free elotes. Dairy free elotes. Try it out. Alright, guys. Well, we finished our wonderful, yummy meal. Good job to the chef. And I'm going to bed. He doesn't have to work tomorrow, as usual. I feel like I say that all the time. <laughs> but I get up at 10 a.m., so I'm good with that. All right. All right. Grab the cabbage and slice it up. It's gonna add more brine. You, dude, I am tired. That's what you do. That's what he does every night. How do you not wake up? Last night, he's licking his paws, scratching his ears. Ridiculous. I like wake up in the middle of the night and I get so irritated. This In the middle of the night, last night, I got up and I gave Domo a half a Benadryl, which is happening right now. <laughs> because he freaking, I don't know what your problem is, but I need to get you some more Apicul. Yes, I do. I'm sorry, bud. He's got such bad allergies. Roxy, and uh, Roxy's in bed. Hold on, I'll let you tell her goodnight in a minute. There goes my car, don't want to stand. In the garage it goes. <laughs> Had to make sure he didn't wreck it. Just kidding.
All right, well, Roxy got up. She was sitting her happy little butt in this little nook right here. Y'all can see. Yep, she was curled up in a ball ready for bed. All right, good night. Good night, Dom. Good night. Good night, Roxy. Good night, you guys. As always, subscribe and like and comment if you enjoy these vlogs. And I will see you, as always, tomorrow. Okay, bye. You're not the